This is part five of designing the Lego Artemis Lunar Rover. I am just about done with the digital Lego model. If this Lego build was a song, the details would be like the soloist. They're the thing you notice first jamming out. Whereas the structure that we spent so much time working on, that would be like the drummer and the basses, you know, keeping the rhythm, keeping the changes. It's not as flashy, but if they weren't there, there wouldn't be anything for this model to hang on. I really need to build this. Once I finish the LTV, I'm, I'm gonna build this. And when designing a digital Lego model in studio, it's really important for me to keep all of my uh, chaos and revisions in different steps or even just different saved files that lets me try out new crazy ideas without having to like kind of undo a whole bunch of work if the idea doesn't work out just like with playing with physical Lego bricks I want to have the freedom to explore an idea even if I don't really know if it's going to work I hope that as you grow up you don't lose your creativity and playfulness but you learn how to dance with it playing with Lego is really good for that because there's whoops so many possibilities in every brick and I hope that what these videos show you is that yeah I make a plan for these builds but I don't know what I'm going to build. I plan to set time aside to work and then I will make discoveries along the way, but I don't know what discoveries I'm gonna make. I sit down, I play, I look at it, I revise, rinse and repeat. 